Go to any browser and search premid.app or you will find the link in the description. Scroll down and go to Downloads section. So I will download for Windows, you can also download for Mac and Linux. Wait for 5 seconds and click on the skip button to download the app. Now open the file and install the app. After installing untick the open presents store, if you open it from here you will not be able to add presents. Click on the next button, you will see the icon, it's the pre-mid app which we installed. Now, go back to the download section of pre-mid, scroll down and add the extension, there are three different browsers, I am using Chrome so I will add for the Chrome browser. Again wait for 5 seconds and click on the skip button to add the extension. Click on add to Chrome, and then click on add extension and wait for the downloading. Now go to extension option and ping the pre-mid extension. Make sure the pre-mid extension is enabled. Now click on start using pre-mid. You can see the extension is connected to the app. So after doing all these things, you will need to enable game activity in your Discord account settings, this step is very important, if you don't enable it, you will not be able to use custom status and clickable buttons, let me show you how to enable it. Simply open your Discord, and then go to users settings, now scroll down, and go to game activity and enable it. So after doing all the things, go to your pre-mid app, right click and go to presence store. Go to search, and search custom status. Now open it. Click on add presence, and click on this page, it will redirect you to the main page of custom status and buttons. Now wait for some time, to load the custom status, you can see it loaded. This is your entire custom status and clickable buttons, you can customize it whatever you want, there are four main things, upper text, lower text, small image and large image, there is also a live preview of your custom status. There is also a small image text when you enable the small image. Scroll down and click on show elapsed, it will show the time which you elapsed during the custom status. Now let's check, you can see it's working fine without any problems. If you face any problem, you can join my Discord server and tag me, I will surely help you. It's the time of clickable buttons. In the last you will see the buttons, there are only two buttons you can add on your profile, in the first enter your title which you want, and the second enter your URL. Again enter your title and URL. Go back to your Discord and check if the buttons are visible or not. You can see it's working. Unfortunately if you click on your buttons, it will not redirect you to the link, but if your friends or other members click on the buttons, so they will be redirected to the link which you entered. So this is the end of the video, thank you for watching.